Hey guys, this is Mr. Molina, and in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little strategy on how to add and subtract integers. Now, before we get into it, integers is just a set of all the positive and all the negative whole numbers, including the number zero. Now, remember that zero is a neutral number. It's neither positive nor negative. Now, let's take a look at some examples that we're going to be working with today. For example, we have two plus three equals five. Well, we know that the plus sign means we need to add these two numbers. And of course, we've been adding since we can remember so 2 plus 3 should equal to 5. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example, which is 8 plus 12 should equal to 20. Of course, like we just discussed right now, we have a plus sign in between both numbers. That means we have to add the 8 and the 12, which should give us 20. Take a look at the next example. We have 10 minus 4 should equal to 6. Now, instead of adding... Now we're subtracting because we have a minus sign between both numbers. So we take away 4 from 10, which should give us 6. Our next example is 5 minus 3. And again, we have a subtraction symbol. So we're just going to go ahead and take away from 5, which we should be left with 2. Take a look at our next example. And this is where it could get a little confusing because we see a plus symbol between the negative 2 and the 3 we're already thinking we're supposed to add but we end up subtracting at the very end so i'm going to show you a little strategy on how we can determine whether we're going to add or subtract based on the numbers that they give us take a look at the next example we have negative 4 minus 5 equals negative 9 so hold on what are we doing here aren't we supposed to be subtracting and we ended up adding these two numbers so the strategy should help us a little bit with this. And the rules go like this. I'm going to be using good guys and bad guys. So whenever we have two good guys, that means that the good guys are friends. And we're going to end up with more good guys. Uh, if we have a bad guy with another bad guy, of course, they're friends as, as well. And we're going to end up with more bad guys, which is positive and a positive equals a positive negative and a negative uh, we're going to be end up we're going to end up with more negatives and if we have two groups that are different we have a positive and a negative a good guy and a bad guy we're going to end up subtracting because they don't like each other so they're going to subtract and we're going to keep the sign of the larger group we're going to see who has more and whoever has more is going to win is going to take over the sign so let's take a look at what i'm talking about so for the integers, we have negatives, we have positives. I think about the positives as being the good guys and the negatives as being the group of the bad guys. Of course, like we previously talked, good guys and bad guys don't get along. In our world, that means we are going to subtract. So let me go over the strategy here. We have 4 minus 6. What I like to do, and it works every single time, is I circle the number with the sign in the front circle the number with the sign in the front now as we can see we have a group of four good guys and a group of six bad guys now you might be thinking what do you mean four good guys if there's no sign in front of the four if there's no sign in front of a number like in this case the leading number we know that this one should be a positive right so we have four good guys we have a group of six bad guys remember they don't like each other they're gonna subtract Four good guys can take on four bad guys. That means we're going to subtract and we're going to keep the sign of the bigger group. Of course, the bad guys are going to win. In this case, our answer should be negative two. Let's take a look at another example. We have five minus two. Pretty easy, right? Well, I even though it's easy, I still circle the number with the sign in the front. Circle the number with the sign in the front. Remember, the five is a positive and the two ends up being a negative two. So we have five good guys and a group of two bad guys. They don't like each other. They're going to subtract. Two good guys ten, can take over, can take on two bad guys. And we are going to be left with three good guys. So our answer should be a positive three. If you take a look at another example, this one's pretty easy as well, but I'm still going to use a strategy. I'm going to circle the number with the sign in the front, circle the number with the sign in the front. And of course, we end up having a group of four good guys and another group of eight good guys. Of course, they're friends. 
they like each other, they're not going to subtract, they're actually going to combine, they're going to add, and they're going to become a group of 12. Let's take a look at another example. We have negative 5 minus 3. Now, if we use this strategy, we should be able to determine whether we're going to add or subtract based on the groups. So take a look at the first one. We circle the number with the sign in the front, which is a negative 5, and circle the number with the sign in the front, which ends up being a negative 3. So if we take a look at this, we have a group of five bad guys and a group of three bad guys. So we're not going to subtract. They're actually friends. They're going to go ahead and combine. And now we, they become a group of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bad guys. So our answer should be negative eight. Now, there's a little uh, rule that we have. Let's say we're trying to subtract a negative number. Whenever we have this, this is actually adding. So uh, one of the things that happens in math and the strategy that I use is whenever we have a minus and a negative next to each other, it means that we're going to have to add. A little confusing, but if you use a chop-chop strategy, you can get this one correct. So what do I mean by chop-chop? I take my hand, chop the minus, take my hand, chop the negative, and convert them both into positive. This is what I mean. Chop the minus becomes a positive, chop the negative, and it also becomes a positive. Now, it all, it all depends on the teacher that you had. She might have gone over the keep, uh, keep change change rule. I like to use a chop chop because I only apply the chop chop whenever I have a minus and a negative next to each other. Let's go ahead and work on an example. One minus negative two. Every time we have a minus and a negative next to each other, what do we do? We chop the minus chop the negative and make them both into a plus and a positive. So now I'm gonna apply my strategy which is circle the number with the sign in the front, circle the number with the sign in the front. In this case, the sign right in front of two is a positive symbol. So we have uh, one good guy and two good guy group of two good guys. And of course, they're not gonna fight, they like each other, we're gonna add them and they become three. So we have a positive three. Now let's go ahead and try some examples without the visuals. And of course, I'm still going to apply the strategy, which is circle the number with the sign in the front. Uh, in this case, uh, I circle the two, I circle the five with the minus in the front. And of course, we have two good guys, five bad guys. I know we're going to subtract, but who has the bigger group? In this case, five has the bigger group. They have more. They are going to win. So our answer should be negative negative three. We are right. Take a look at the next example. We have eight minus two. Same strategy. Circle the number with the sign in the front. Circle the number with the sign in the front. As you can see, we have eight good guys, two bad guys. The good guys are going to win, but we need to subtract them. Eight minus two is positive six. Take a look at this next one. This one should be pretty easy, uh, but I'm still going to use a strategy. Circle the number with the sign in the front. Circle the number with the sign in the front. Of course, both of them are good guys, so they add up and give a 6. Take a look at the next example. We have a negative 4 minus 5. I'm going to circle the number with the sign in the front. Circle the number with the sign in the front. And, of course, they are two groups of bad guys. So they're friends. They're going to go ahead and add, and it's going to give us negative 9. Uh, take a look at the... oh. This is a one of those that we have a minus and a negative next to each other. What do we do here? It's going to be a chop, chop, and of course, uh, circle the number with the sign in the front, circle the number with the sign in the front, and it gives us a 3 and a positive 5. Uh, in this case, should be a uh, 8. So thank you guys for watching. This is Mr. Molina, and I'll be posting up more videos with different strategies on how to do math problems. You can go ahead and download the assignment if you guys want. It's free. Go ahead and click the link below, and you can go ahead and print it out as PDF, uh, work on it at the house, and you can even take it to your teacher so she could check it for you. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.